This is Paul Nobles from eatperform.com and I just wanted to run through our calculator and, and talk through various aspects of the calculator. So what I'm going to do is use a female who is 5'5", five five, so I'm going to put in 65 inches. Her weight, which is going to be about average for that height, is about 150 pounds. She's 40 years old. You could choose moderately active if you only work out two to three days a week, but I suggest that if you work out more than that, you use very active. Extra active is really more for you know people that are doing two a days or training for something, and so I don't really recommend that for most people, but certainly if you have a lot going on in your training world, that would be a setting that would work for you. Um, once again, she's female. We're going to go imperial instead of metric. And I'm just going to show her total daily energy expenditure, um, which is going to be, as you can see up at the top, her BMR or basal metabolic rate. And then we're adding in her activity multiplier by saying that she's very active. I'm going to keep her protein calculated at one gram per pound so basically that's going to be um, 150 grams I know that already her body fat percentage I'm gonna put at 25 percent and instead of solving for um, using carbs I'm going to use fats and the reason why I suggest that is because it's a great place to start what people tend to do is they tend to put their carbs as low as possible and we suggest that that's actually not the best approach and one of the reasons why is because if you keep your carbs low then your hydration levels of your muscles actually don't reflect fat earned and so I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more once we get the reading so I'm gonna put her fat levels at a hundred grams and then we're gonna calculate so we have various averages up here at the top. Her total daily energy expenditure is 2,442 calories. So as an example, if you have the mindset that you maintain muscle um, at 2,000 calories, um, which is kind of a common thing out there, if you really need 2,400 calories, now you're actually in a deficit all the time and your body simply down regulates. Her numbers came out well and so I really don't think that I would need to change them but I will go over how you would change them if you needed to. So her proteins at 150 like I mentioned her carbs are at 236 I don't have any problem with a little bit of an adjustment to where if she wanted to go down to 200 grams of carbs um, that would be perfectly fine that would probably be a little bit of a deficit but once again we kinda have to realize this is a flash calculator it's basically giving you an average and it's trying to give you a good assumption on what your activity levels and what your calories would be it won't you know go from say 2400 to 1500 it's always in the ballpark and that's really the best use for it for most people and so you may have to do some tweaking on your own before a lot of people I would say 200 grams of carbs um, for this individual will be just fine. Fat at 100 grams uh, gives a perfect way for to keep hormones in place, um, eat adequate calories. Now let's say that uh, we wanted to change one of these parameters. So we'll go ahead and say her carbohydrates now we're gonna set at 200 grams and then we're gonna leave fats open so what you see is that now her fat grams went up and you can do the same thing with protein the only difference with protein is that you would just simply uh, put in like for instance in the case of uh, a 150 pound person you would just set it at 175 grams and then calculate and what you see is her fat grams went down there, uh, her protein's a little bit higher, which 
you know, we recommend uh, protein levels for a lot of people, and it's a great way to, um, you know, get a good amount of recovery, especially when you first start working out without adding in a whole bunch of carbs and without having your fat levels extremely high. So I hope that is helpful. We're making this video uh, as a an addendum to our new meal planning guide. We'll have the link below that. You're certainly welcome to check it out. If you're interested, I would suggest it would really help your journey. If you're not interested, that's fine too. So I appreciate you watching the video.